Hi, my name is Suba Gurwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over rearranging shaded counters to get equivalent fractions. So, say for example, they gave you one circle where you had one unshaded, which I'm going to denote by u equals 1, five shaded, the other one we had three unshaded, and seven shaded. And these were in two different circles. And we wanted to find a way to make rearrange the different counters so we could have an equivalent ratio of unshaded to shaded because one-fifth does not equal three-sevenths right now. So an easy way to do that is to remember that the ratio, if you want them to be the same, is going to be equivalent as the total ratio of shaded to unshaded. Like all the pieces together, that ratio is going to maintain the same. So one way we can do that is to take the sum of all the unshaded to the sum of all the shaded. It's going to give us one plus three over five plus seven 4 over 12, which is going to be 1 third. So basically, we, for every one unshaded, we have 3 shaded. So that's a good way to think about that. And if we want to make equivalent fractions, well, we can just divide it into 1 third. So say we have 3 empty plates now. We would just rearrange the things we had here. So we would take 1 from here, 1 unshaded, put it on each of these plates fourth plate, let's put you down here. And then we would just put in three shaded into each of them, and we would be left with equivalent fractions. You could also combine two of these plates together and put two white and six shaded to get an equivalent ratio with the other two plates, any sort of combination of the plates. And that's how you get these, use these shaded counters to get equivalent fractions. My name is Suba Garwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.